everybody, thank you very much for joining me for today's chair yoga session. Today we are focusing on balance and stability, very important as we age to prevent falls, trips, etc. So without further ado, we will begin. So we're going to sit slightly forward on our chair, sitting up nice and tall. So we're going to start in chair mountain. So nice straight back, shoulders down away from your ears. Imagine there's a string that's pulling your head up so your back is straight. Your shoulders are relaxed down away from your ears, hands on your thighs or your knees. We're going to take a couple of nice deep breaths. Inhale your arms up. Exhale down. Remember, in and out through the nose, nice and slow. There's no rush. And again, inhale up. And exhale. One more time, inhale, get some air into those lungs and exhale. If it's comfortable, you can just roll your shoulders a little, loosen up. We're going to go into a warrior sequence, so sit back slightly on your chair, take your, your knee out to the right side and we're going to come back so that the crook of your knee is against the side of the chair and that back foot goes out as far as you can and then faces forward so the foot's pressing down so you're getting a stretch in those hips so we're coming into warrior two so as I say get that foot flat that foot flat as best you can and stretch out those arms imagine somebody's pulling those arms in opposite directions this is warrior two so take a nice deep breath here and then we're going to take another breath and as we exhale, we're going to let that back hand slide down slightly on that back leg and take the other hand up. Now, if it's only a slight movement, that's fine. We're just getting a nice side body stretch here. And we're opening up the hips as well, so reaching up nice and tall. That's it. Keep breathing and keep smiling. I always say that. And going to inhale back, stretching those arms again back into warrior two. And then we're going to go into side angle. So this front, this right forearm is going to come down on the thigh and the left arm is going to come alongside the ear. So again, that shoulder, if that arm comes forward, it's not aligned. So take that shoulder back towards your ear so that your ankle, your knee, your hip, your shoulder, your elbow and your wrist are all in line. And you're getting that lovely side body stretch. Keep breathing. That's it. And release. So we're going to come back to the front. We're going to do the other side. So we're going to shift over. Same again. So the, <clears throat> the left, the crook of your knee, sort of against the edge of the chair. We're going to take that back foot, the right foot back. So the foot's facing forward and flat. Left foot's flat. Nice stretch here. We're opening up those hips and we're going to stretch out the arms. Nice big stretch. So remember, nice big breath here, warrior two. Lovely. And then another breath. And then as we exhale, we come into reverse warrior on this side. So the back hand slides down, the front hand comes up. You can feel that stretch there in that, front, that right hip flexor. Listen to your body. Remember, keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Inhale back to your warrior two. Remember, stretch those arms and then into side angle. So that left forearm comes down onto your thigh and your right arm comes alongside your ear, reaching over with those right fingertips. Big stretch here. And slowly back to your warrior two. Lower the hands down and just bring yourself back, back to your chair. Sit up nice and tall because we're going to stand up now. We're going to use the chair. We're going to do tree pose and we're going to use the chair to help us balance. So come to the left side of the chair, turn the chair out so that you can hold the back. Stand up nice and straight. So your hand, you've got that to balance. So keep a good hold of that. We're going to turn that left knee out. 
Now that foot is going to come up against, so that foot can come anywhere here or here, just not against that knee joint. We don't want to hurt that knee. So you can keep, if you feel like, you know, this is very new to you, turning that hip out, that knee out, so that you've got in that stretch in the hip there, which is why we did the warrior pose to start with, to open up the hips. You can keep that toe on the floor and just take your hand up, or you can take that foot up a little more, as I say, just not there. So turn that foot out. If you feel like you want to have a go at letting go, then do. But if not, hold on to it. Stand up as straight and tall and proud as you can. Turning that, you're still balancing on that one foot. You're just steadying yourself with that. And it's all great for your stability and your balance. And that's what we're here for today. Keep breathing. And then just lower your hand and we're going to come back and face the chair and we're going to do some heel raises again with nice strong ankles and feet. So we're just going to pedal those feet back and forth, bending the knees. That's it. Just a few of these. Lovely. Okay. And now we're going to take a nice stretch. So we're just going to walk those feet back. Walk them back as far as you can. And then we're going to, you can have a bend in your knees if you wish. We're just going to fold down. So, so you imagine straightening the back. You can move the chair forward or take your feet back slightly. Whatever works for you. Just hold on to that chair. Relax your head and you get a lovely stretch. This is kind of like downward dog because this is the angle we are when we do downward dog. So with the help of a chair. So you're getting a nice straight back, you're getting a stretch under your arms and across your chest. As I say, if you need to bend your knees, that's absolutely fine. Just don't hold your breath. A really good stretch here. And then very slowly walk yourself back to your chair. And we're going to do the other side. So take that chair to the left side and we're going to do the tree pose, turning the Right, so you're going to engage that thigh, you're going to put your weight onto that left leg, turn that right knee out, again, keeping that toe on the floor if you wish, opening up the hips and stretching out that arm. And again, if you want to have a little go at seeing if you can balance, that's fine. Just don't hold your breath, just stretch up, try not to lean, try to, to keep yourself nice and straight. That's it. Keep breathing, keep smiling. <laughs> You're doing an awesome job. You're doing the very best thing you can for yourself. You really are. Okay, bring that hand down. Okay, heel raises. Back to the chair. And again, same on this side. Wonderful. Okay, both feet down. Now we're going to do that lovely stretch again, like almost like the, the downward dog. So get your chair in position, walk your feet back. Again, as far back as you can. And just get comfortable for you. Bend your knees if you wish. So big stretch here, hold on to that chair. So you're kind of drawing that tailbone back. You're stretching your spine. You can feel the stretch under your arms and across your chest. You can relax your head. Just keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Wonderful. Gently lift your head, walk your feet back, bring your chair back to the centre. Because we're going to sit down again. And we're going to do a spinal twist. So sit forward on your chair. I'm going to do it with cross-legged because I think it adds to it. So we're going to cross the right leg over the left. And hold on to that right knee with your left hand. We're going to take your hand back. So you can grab the back of the chair or the back of the seat and just turn to your right. And twists are wonderful. They're wonderful not only for your back and your spine but also for your digestion. By twisting, you're massaging the internal organs and it's very, very good for them. So make sure you keep breathing. Slowly release back to the front. 
jam across the legs on the other side. So left over right this time. Right hand on your left knee, left hand behind, lift up. Big breath, look over your left shoulder as you exhale and keep breathing. That's it, breathe into that back, breathe into those organs. And slowly release back to the front. Okay, we're gonna do a seated forward fold now. So we've twisted the back, we're gonna stretch it out now. So sitting up nice and tall, back in your chair mounting. So lift up, nice straight back. And then we're gonna just inhale the hands up and come forward slightly and then just fold. So bringing those hands down to wherever's good for you and then just folding down. So come down as far as is comfortable for you. Listen to your body. Nice. Couple of deep breaths here. And then slowly lift your head first and then slide the hands up, you can grab your knees, use your hands to gently lift yourself all the way back up. So we're going to do some leg extensions now, we're going to stretch out the hamstring. So straighten your right leg and come forward a little bit on your chair if you find it easier. So we're going to bring those toes up so that you can feel that thigh engage and you can feel the release of that hamstring on the back of the leg. Place your hands on the left knee and just Lean forward slightly and as you do, bring those toes towards you and you can really feel that stretch in that leg. So that's it, keep breathing. And then release, we're gonna swap sides, so bring that knee back, stretch out the left leg. Again, toes towards you, thighs engaged, that's nice and solid, that thigh. Hands on your right knee. And again, just lean forward just a tad Bring those toes up and you can feel that stretch at the back of the leg. Really good, strong legs, that's what we need. Okay, coming back, we're gonna finish. Sit slightly back, not too far, but we're gonna finish with our ankle circles. So you wanna be sat on your chair because you're gonna lift your foot up. So we'll do the right foot first and we're gonna do circles one way. And then back the other way. And down. Other side, left foot out. Okay, we are pretty much done. We're going to finish sitting up nice and tall like we did in the beginning in chair mounting. Sit up nice and tall. Just close your eyes for a minute. Have your hands on top of your knees. Feel, feel the effects of your, of your sequence of the exercises that you've done. Feel it in your body. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Try not to have any tension in your face. Just relax. That's it. Nice straight back. So it's kind of, your spine is straight, but, but not, not tight and tense. Straight, but relaxed. Okay, so open your eyes. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in, take the arms up, inhale. Bring the palms together, gonna to exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Cleansing breath and namaste. And there we go, that was our chair yoga for balance and stability. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for joining me today. And I'd love to hear how you felt after this practice. So please don't forget to leave me a comment. Um, and all that remains for me to say is have a wonderful day and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.